Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to talk about a situation that some people find themselves in um, when they're preparing for a wedding. So what can happen and what does happen in most cases is that the, the groomsman, for example, could live in another city or even another country. And so when they're organising for the suits to be um, made or, or purchased, they'll, they'll ask, um, obviously they'll ask their groomsmen for their measurements. Now, I actually do get people come to me asking if I'll do measurements and generally I say no. Um, and the reason I say no is that I'm pretty certain um, that a lot of the time, even if you give the measurements that um, what they'll do is they'll just grab, like for example, if you say um, it's got um, a waist of 40, for example, they'll go, oh well, you know, that's a size and they'll just grab the trousers. So they don't check to see if it's actually a size 40. Most of the stuff comes off the rack. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, not 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 every organisation is going to make the garment specifically to your measurements. There are organisations and tailors online who do. You give the measurements, and they will specifically make to your measurements. But they are very specific about that, um, and they they make it very clear that it's handmade or specifically made to their measurements. So what's happened is that um, I've just had another um, groom come to me with his party of um, groomsmen and um, one of them came from the UK. And he, he had supplied the measurements but what he had done is taken the measurements from a pair of trousers that were in his wardrobe. Now, I talk about this in my book um, every pair of trousers is going to be different um, in terms of an inside leg or even an outside leg. And the reason for that is really, really logical. They're, they're, each pair of trousers is not going to be exactly the same waist measurement. It's also not going to be the same in the rise from the crutch up to the top of the band that's going to be a different length. And if that's a different length, then it's going to hang differently in the crutch, isn't it? And so if you measure from the crutch down to a finished length on one pair of trousers, and then on another that's got a rise that's different by, you know, um, could be three centimeters or four centimeters or two inches or, you know, could be, it'll be different. So, that's going to hang differently at the crush, therefore it's going to be different at the bottom. It's logic. So, the other thing that happens is that the width at the base of the trousers is going to be different, the cut. So, if you purchase a pair of trousers that are narrow, um, then they're going to bunch at the bottom, aren't they? Because they can't fit over the shoe. Um, as against something that's a little bit wider is going to fit over the shoe and therefore can go longer and will sit nicer. So what happened was he sent um, his measurements and of course they're too short. Now, but too short by nearly two inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a false hem. I've found some fabric that's a little bit similar in colour. Um, so I'm going to put a false hem on for him. But I wanted to show you, I just thought, you know what, I've got some trousers on my rack from a guy who came. I always pin the right leg. I always fold the fabric under. Um, and they've always got their shoes on um, that they're going to wear. So I just want to show you three trousers. And I'm just going to do the outside leg in this case because I've pinned the outside leg. Um, the inside leg is definitely going to be different because they've got different rises, but anyway, um, just to prove the point. And the reason I'm just doing this video, it's not really showing you how to sew as such, but I do think it's important 
that you're aware that um, every pair of trousers is going to be different and don't use one pair of trousers to determine the length of another unless they have the same rise, the same waist and the same width at the bottom. So I just wanted to show you here. Um, so that is 37 and a quarter or for you metric guys Ninety-four and a half. Okay, so that's one. This one is thirty-seven and seven eighths, and metric ninety-six. So you can see the difference between those two straight away, and if you look at them. Look at the difference in the width at the bottom. So these are going to sit lower, aren't they? Because they're wider. And then we've got some jeans. So they are 38 and a quarter. And 97. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to say. Please be aware, and then if you measure the rise, I mean, they may be the same, who knows, but so there's a difference. So there's the rise there, and there it is there. So that's how much different these are going to hang lower. This pair, remember, this is all the same guy. So again, so the, there's a difference between there and there on the jeans. So if you took the inside leg measurement of these and used that same one for these jeans, this is going to be horribly uh, out of whack. It's just not going to work. So I hope that helps you with um, preparing for your wedding. Or even, you know, for those of you who are just going out buying trousers and you think, you know, I'll get a 39 inch inside leg. Well, you know, that's not going to work either, is it? Happy altering. <laughs>